Let us open the service in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for today that you have brought us once again together to another service this Friday, another day that you have appointed for your children to come together and to praise and worship your name. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity you have granted to us to be able to join together from wherever we are, Lord, to do this service today, Father. We just commit, Lord, the whole service that we that is uh, prepared for today. And may your Holy Spirit guide us, Father, throughout the praise and the worship and the word. And as we pray, Father, we thank you, Lord, that, and acknowledge that you are here in our midst. As we gather together, Father, we know that you are there. Father God, we just commit um, each and every one who has attended today. And we pray, Father God, that you would bless them and you would prepare a blessing for each and every one of them, Father God. We commit to you, Lord, the praise and worship. We commit to you, Father, the word that is prepared for today. And may we be all blessed, Father, for this service. We thank you so much, God, for this day that you have blessed us with, another blessing that you have poured out upon your children, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you, for you deserve all the glory and praise. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and a very good morning. It's a privilege to start a day by thanking our God, our Creator, our Father, remembering His goodness and mercies and everything He has done to us. He has given everything for us, including His life, the very life and the very way of salvation. Let's thank the Lord for all the blessings that He has given to us. a special intimate time of worship and this worship only you and your creator your father 
let's declare Lord Jesus as our Savior King, our healer, our everything in our lives.
let's pray for the nations this month what we are praying for as a church father loving gracious heavenly father thank you for the grace you gave us lord jesus the uncommon favor your mercy your faithfulness lord jesus today to sing praises to your name to worship you in truth and spirit lord jesus father this time as a corporate body we submit the middle east countries into your hands father father we are in one of the middle east countries father we pray for bahrain lord jesus we pray a special prayer of blessing over this land of bahrain lord jesus you brought us here and you showed your way of salvation in this nation lord jesus we pray we pray for the royal families the king the prime minister and the the crown prince lord jesus and all in the royal families and all in the ruling authorities father we especially pray for the new prime minister lord jesus we pray a special prayer of blessing over his life lord jesus we pray lord jesus all the education system all the institutions all the companies lord jesus let them flourish lord jesus and we already know that lord jesus the businesses are coming back to normal shape lord jesus and the businesses are flourishing the finances are coming back lord jesus thank you for our answered prayers lord jesus we pray for all the neighboring countries saudi arabia uae oman qatar kuwait and all other middle east countries lord jesus that this last time lord jesus we know that your coming is very soon father and in this time lord jesus we pray lord jesus the ministers your ministers of your word lord jesus let them have the boldness to pray for these people and let them have the boldness to spread the gospel of true gospel lord jesus of you father so that they will be saved and there will be a remnant for your coming lord jesus we submit all these things into your mighty hands father we pray again a special prayer of blessings to bahrain lord jesus and in jesus name we pray amen Praise the Lord. Very good morning to all of you. This morning I have uh, two announcements to share with you. First thing, NEC is conducting a virtual Bible quiz on this 16th of next month, December. The time will be at uh, 11 a.m. And the topic of the quiz will be uh, Jesus, uh, the birth of Jesus and related prophecies so uh, dear church like we would like to encourage you all to participate in this uh, quiz program and whoever is interested to participate in this program you can register online and we'll be sending the link and also you can uh, contact your pastor or like you can contact the office for the link that if, if you want to register for this Bible quiz. We really encourage you to participate in this quiz. It will be a very good uh, learning experience for you. And uh, the last date for the registration will be December 1st. So please uh, uh, make uh, be encouraged to participate in this. And we really uh, encourage you to participate in this program. And also the second announcement is 
uh, we'll be having a prayer meeting in the month of December. Uh, date is 16th. Uh, since we have a holiday, National Day holiday, so as a church, whole church, we'll be having a fast, uh, no, not fasting prayer, it's a, a prayer meeting. So we request you all to be prepared and not to have any other programs, but to participate in this prayer meeting and be blessed. God bless you all. Now let us welcome uh, our dear pastor, senior pastor, Pastor Chandy, to come and share the word with us. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I welcome you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One more opportunity to come to the presence of God. Through the Zoom, we are together in this situation. God is allowing us to come together for praising and worshiping the Lord. Thank you for the time you are given to us for praise and worship. Even though we are in our house or anywhere, the different parts, attending this service, let not lose the presence of God. This is my request always. Let us have a heart. Be in the presence of God. Open up our hearts and be submissive to the Spirit of God. So our mind will be alert. Then God is going to work through the Word of God. See, the Word of God is the same. What you are listening, all the days past, and if God allowing, to the coming days, the same word you are listening. Maybe one time or two time or three time. But how many times we listen? Until unless you are not giving yourself to the work of the Holy Spirit, nothing will take place. So this is my humble request and prayer for me to submit you to the Holy Spirit. Shall we look into the Lord and pray today? Let us bow down wherever you are. Don't lose the presence of God. Don't close your heart. Whole heart. And the mind. Be alert to listen to the Lord himself. Father in heaven, we thank you to adding one more day in our life. Lord, you have a great plan and purpose about this day. As we spend this day, O oh Master, especially we as a church of Philadelphia gather together to praise and worship and listen to your unchanging word. Lord, what you Mind in you about your word as we read. Let it be happen to each and everyone who listen today. That's the reality of the word. We come as a result in our day-to-day -day life. Father, we thank you for the rest of the time. We thank you for what you are doing in our midst. We thank you for the families and the servants of God and our children. We commit them into thy mighty hand. 
We give all glory, honor, and praises to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As Pastor John announced, 16th and 17th will be a holy day. We will separate one day, two, three hours, in the presence of God as a church, to give thanks for the 2020. Yes, we all know it was a difficult year in our life, but but God was so good, so good, so good to protect, to take care, to give strength to overcome what mentally, physically, spiritually we go through. Yes, God is so good. So we want to thank God for that day. And also, we hope 2090, if God allowed to enter, is, is coming is late. We want to seek God and ask his direction in individual life, family life, as a church. Please join on that day as we come together. Let us go into a familiar word, familiar word. That is what uh, God given the light in my heart. That is Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. All of us know these words, familiar these words, using these words, our prayer, uh, even though our daily life. But one of the questions which comes to my heart, I want to share with you today. God is always worthy to praise. You all agree. You all agree. You all agree. God is always worthy to praise. Hallelujah. But what it comes to my hearts, is it happening in your life? This is the question which came to my heart. Is it really happening in your life? Is asking to me. In all time, That word itself says, all time. All time means there is different time in life. There is different time in life. Some says, I can do that. I did. I experienced. So I am telling you, when you say, came to my mind and heart. This is a question. Why you are not experiencing? When you downcast, why you cannot praise and worship the Lord? He is worthy to praise all the time in your life. Today, how whoever listening the word, you may be, hallelujah, we may be pronounced this words hundreds of times, but you are in worry, we are in fear today. I am telling you, today you have, must have that confidence and you must have that experience, what difficulty you are today, 
what problem you are going through what restriction going forward today make sure you can praise the lord almighty hallelujah he is worthy in your difficult time in your dark time in your hallelujah in your, in your all restriction to open up your mouth and heart before the god god will strengthen you how how we can do that because i'm telling you not with our strength absolutely we cannot we cannot i cannot praise the lord when i am going through difficulty financial sick oh one of the most difficult thing while we are in sick even a small alia pain in the stomach or headache we cannot but i am telling you you can experience that how bible clearly tells someone is there to help you not no one else. he himself is telling i will be with you that is the greatest promise that is the greatest blessings we have in this world nothing else nothing not our holy bungalow not our wealth not our health not our holy position not our holy authority anything we holy attained in this world nothing the greatest blessing is the he is always with us the holy spirit is living within us hallelujah this is what bible clearly says that how a man a woman can say i will always i will always praise the lord hallelujah at any time at any difficulty at any hallelujah to the sickness at any hallelujah problem today are you listening the word of god not just saying this word not just reading this word but from your heart are you sick are you going through financial problem all the roads are blocked you cannot go forward i'm telling you if this word you you believe i believe let it happen today let it happen today hallelujah hallelujah because bible says he the god almighty god of israel he hallelujah come down in the presence of his children when they praise and worship hallelujah hallelujah once his presence is manifested there is no darkness can stand not heaviness can stand no restriction can hallelujah come before you hell not sickness can stand hallelujah once hallelujah he is manifested ura baba radha radha shiva baba baba radha hallelujah hallelujah let us allow let us allow today if anything is blocking to all resist and control and reign the holy spirit in our life take it out fight we don't want that will not satisfy us the only thing which satisfy us hallelujah that is not the earthly blessings that is heavenly blessings that is what he promised and he give and the children are experienced and today hallelujah to that invitation is to for me and you it is before us hallelujah receive the holy spirit and go forward hallelujah hallelujah yes god has made the world with a different season hallelujah a different season is there a season will change always season will change always hallelujah today's season will change what season you are going through 
Hallelujah. He will change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When, hallelujah, when uh, uh, Saul, the first king of Israel, before he became king, he was, hallelujah, hallelujah, he was searching for his father's donkey. And he went to the hallelujah prophet somewhere. And he's asking, but hallelujah, after the stay of one day, the next day, hallelujah, hallelujah, the prophecy come from hallelujah, the servant of God, hallelujah, the prophet of God somewhere. Hallelujah. When, hallelujah, hallelujah, what was that? Day? The Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, that uh, words which comes, hallelujah, in chapter, hallelujah, Psalms, uh, uh, one first Samuel, chapter 10, verse 6, it says, the Holy Spirit come upon you. You will prophesy with uh, them and change into another man, hallelujah, change into another man. Hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, you will change. And that is what the hallelujah. prophecy is coming to Hallelujah, Saul. Hallelujah. It happened in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the Bible says, the Bible, New Testament says, in Acts chapter 1, verse hallelujah, verse 8 says, when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you will be strong. And then, hallelujah, more than hallelujah, thanks, more than hallelujah, anything of the hallelujah, hallelujah, gift of the Holy Spirit, you will be strengthened for what? You will be strengthened in any situation to give glory and honor to our God. Dear brothers and sisters, God has given the Holy Spirit to strengthen you to overcome any situation in your life, any situation, any situation, this has happened, hallelujah, in the life of the, hallelujah, children of God, you know, hallelujah, there is no time to explain all these things. We hearing again and again, but today, hallelujah, today is the day we, I am going to experience can you say that in your heart? I will experience, hallelujah. I will experience that, hallelujah. I will praise the Lord in my difficult situation. I will praise the Lord when I am sick, hallelujah. I will praise the Lord when, hallelujah, there is, there, there, there is everything against us, hallelujah. I will praise the Lord when enemy, enemies are hallelujah, challenging me. How many you can say today? Hallelujah. This is my desire and the prayer today. Hallelujah. If we achieve that, hallelujah, we are with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalmist, you know him, David. I think in my hallelujah, experience my hallelujah, David is the one who go through very, very difficult times in his life. From his childhood until his throne, even after the throne, he go through difficulties. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was always in the hallelujah. Alone in the desert. He we understand from the word of God. He was praising God when he was alone. How many of you are complaining about your loneliness? How many of you are complaining about your neglect? Bible says, Hallelujah, David is inviting you and me today praise God in your loneliness in your neglect when you neglect praise God worship God give thanks to God give thanks to God he will change hallelujah he is the one who brought me from the loneliness and he delivered me. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Challenges are there. All Israel is running backward. He's a holy man. Praising God. Who is this Palestine? To tell against my God. He is praising God there. He is praising God there. One Israelite. No one was there. He was there to praise God. That is why he wrote, I will always, I will always, I will always praise my God. Dear brothers, dear brothers, let the Holy Spirit in any situation you go through today, listening this, I am sure he will strengthen you to praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your situation, your hallelujah position will, will change. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Season will change. Hallelujah. Bible says, God has made seasons. One season will go. The other season will come. Hallelujah. In our life also, there is a season. Hallelujah. There is comfort time. There is everything will be hallelujah, a favor to us. There is a time. There will, there will not be comfort. They will not be find any favor. But if you are ready to praise your God Almighty, Things will change. Psalms says, uh, Psalms uh, 1 3. Psalms 1 3 says, Hallelujah. Psalms 1 3 says, Hallelujah. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. Hallelujah. Every season, he will bring forth fruits. Hallelujah. This is the greatest things we when we are hallelujah. A tree is planted near the river. The same way if we are planted, we are close to God. Hallelujah. If you live in Christ, and his word is within us. We are going to give uh, fruits in our life. Hallelujah. David himself, it is saying in uh, Psalm 16, verse 7. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instruct me in the night season. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be worried or fearful about your dark season. There is dark season in all of our life. David saying, in the dark season, I praise my God. I hear the instruction how to walk. What is the danger before me? Hallelujah. How I can come out? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what that word says. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I will praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord who oh, encourage me, who oh, deliver me from all the discourages. He deliver me from all the discourages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the dark time, 
in the night time night is fearful hallelujah the even a small pain coming in the day time and in the dark time is different we face that in the different way in the night it comes that we are fearful hallelujah but david is tell in the night time hall in the dark time hallelujah i praise god i will worship god i will give glory to my god he will instruct me how to go forward hallelujah he give me light hallelujah he give me light hallelujah hallelujah wow hall in the dark time the night time in everything is against us when we praise when we hallelujah glorify god his presence will be manifest there hallelujah he is the light of the world he brings light there hallelujah he brings light there hallelujah when hallelujah to hallelujah paul and silas was in the prison hallelujah hello all of a sudden hallelujah they were hallelujah worshiping they are praising god even in the chain they are praising god what happened the deliverance came by as an earthquake hallelujah all the lights all the things are gone hallelujah but hallelujah but hallelujah hallelujah jailer found light in Paul's and Silas life is asking light the jailer is asking light for, from Paul hallelujah how is carrying the light of Jesus lord hallelujah that is why jesus said we are the light of the world hallelujah because we are carrying hallelujah hallelujah jesus in our life we are praising and worshiping the lord always his presence is with us hallelujah not only in the, in the, in the uh, everything is hallelujah okay in our life but in hallelujah everything is going wrong that time also god is with us hallelujah that is why god said i will be with you always i will be with you always dear brother are you listening lord is telling you today he is with you can you praise him can you give him glory what difficulty you are going through no problem there is nothing impossible to god hallelujah giving glory honor and praises to you hallelujah oh sister are you going through a sickness today in your sickness in your bed are you ready to praise him are you ready to give him glory and honor hallelujah his presence is going to manifest in your body and you will be healed hallelujah hallelujah there is different time in our life don't think every time we will go smoothly don't think every time we will all in comfort zone there is a change of season i don't know what season you are going through but i'm telling you is a dark season david is assuring you my season who change it can change your darkest time today 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 it can change you hallelujah 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 glory to god hallelujah hallelujah there is a appointed time appointed season hallelujah that may be today in your life hallelujah there is appointed season hallelujah hallelujah 38 years he didn't find that season in his life that man who was near the hallelujah pool 
he wanted to he- get the healing but one day came in his life hallelujah we read in hallelujah matthew chapter 5 uh, john chapter 5 words for it says the appointed season came yes are you believe today is your appointed season when jesus came in front of that person that was a time that was a season is appointed season hallelujah 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 that is why in the beginning i told you don't lose the presence of god you required you required you need very badly today is present don't lose once he come before you that is your appointed season that is your day of deliverance that is your day of healing hallelujah hallelujah let the holy spirit speak to you today oh lord we thank you we thank you lord we thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah bible says in galatians chapter 6:9 no time that is why i am hallelujah running hallelujah galatians chapter 69 says hallelujah he who sows in his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption but he sows the spirit will be the spirit reap everlasting life hallelujah hallelujah there is a season to sow there is a season to reap hallelujah let not lose your heart grow weary and faint there is a appointed time we shall reap there is a appointed time hallelujah we were going through a difficult time in 2020 if really you were seeking god you understand the hallelujah the hallelujah hallelujah is a message through the covid 19 and you humble yourself before the god and i will seek his face and change your life and going to tell you 2021 is for you a blessed year hallelujah and the season is going to change who land from god who got the message from god who changed by the message of god in 2020 who understand this 2020 was a season god has gone to the world to understand to seek his face they are going to have a season change change season how many of you believe if you are believing i'll raise your hand and say hallelujah hallelujah to the lord if you believe you raise your hand and say hallelujah to the lord hallelujah i am hallelujah i was in the home all the day hallelujah most of the day in the house and seeking god and praising god and hallelujah understand the message of god hallelujah today morning also i was praying to god the facilities the freedom the hallelujah the, the, the freedom of worship hallelujah the church the, the ministries the the, 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 the the families we got all the facilities fellowship everything lord any area any area i confess before god lord we misused we want forgiveness from god and we want a change of season if you are allowing to 2021 hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you lord hallelujah god is going to do that hallelujah hallelujah if you saw in the 2020 with tears you are going to reap 
with hallelujah joy hallelujah hallelujah that is what the bible says it give that assurance hallelujah hallelujah yes dear brothers and sisters we can we can praise god in all time any season any difficult time there is change of time in the life of people but we can do it hallelujah hallelujah that will bring hope that praises will bring hope for tomorrow <laughs> hallelujah that is why i told you 2020 we are going to see that hallelujah hallelujah always hallelujah the praises give hope for tomorrow the praises give hope for tomorrow you can understand from that verse hallelujah did you hallelujah notice that word hallelujah his praise shall continually be in my mouth hallelujah what it means hallelujah tomorrow also i am going to call him praise i hope for tomorrow god's work will be there in tomorrow in my life in the churches in the families in the hallelujah in the nations god's work is going to hallelujah happen hallelujah there is hope for tomorrow hallelujah praises give you that assurance hallelujah there is hope for tomorrow how because we are praising not because of anything seeing but we have the assurance of the promise of god the word of god we are not redeemed by the hallelujah incorruptible word hallelujah but this oh, 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 chapter 1 verse 23 says hallelujah. we are not redeemed by we are not holy cleansed by the any holy uncorruptible words but holy uh, uh, corruptible words but the uh, uncorruptible words we are redeemed that words are that seed hallelujah we are not holy that seed that is a word it is used that seed is within us hallelujah that is what john chapter chapter 3 first john chapter 3 verse 9 also says hallelujah you hallelujah you are having the seed of god we are having the seed of god that gives you hope for tomorrow hallelujah nothing else can give you hope hallelujah hallelujah only the word of god can give you hope hallelujah by the hallelujah we are redeemed by the word of god and that word is within us hallelujah hallelujah you are having the word of god that seed of of god within you that when you praise when you worship how the prophecy comes hallelujah for tomorrow that through the word of god that hallelujah come hallelujah he is wobbling and hallelujah coming hallelujah out hallelujah that gives you hope for tomorrow hallelujah glory to god hallelujah 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 how much the seed is tried hallelujah is the seed hallelujah is pure put it in a good ground that is growing to grow and give fruits hallelujah hallelujah this is what happened in the believers the pure seed that comes within us jesus himself he came so you have a hope to for tomorrow hallelujah glory to god hallelujah when you praise hallelujah not only season will change not only the situation will change but hallelujah it gives hope for tomorrow hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah time is short and running hallelujah going hallelujah thank you lord the one more things we can see there in the third words third word uh, verse 3 th- oh magnify the lord with me and let us exalt his name together hallelujah 
we are always better be together hallelujah when we praise hallelujah what remove our barriers the praising the worshiping knowing the great god of me i can join with hallelujah my brother and give thanks hallelujah hallelujah what brings hallelujah you understand the praise brings others to hallelujah what brings hallelujah the gentile jailer to praise and worship the lord god jesus what gives the praising inside the prison the thanksgiving inside the prison he joined hallelujah hallelujah is calling you and hallelujah to be together hallelujah bringing together hallelujah praise us brings together there will be a unity hallelujah let the togetherness hallelujah always in while praising hallelujah not only while praising that while you continue that will continue church of philadelphia hallelujah brothers and sisters hallelujah we are the lord we are the people who call to praise god who call, we are called to be together together because we are the one who praising and worshiping the almighty god hallelujah 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 psalm is hallelujah david in his 40 psalms also same thing is telling hallelujah in the beginning verse the same thing hallelujah hallelujah he take me from the mighty clay and he brought me to the rock he give me a song in my mouth to praise us to god almighty no so many will hear that so many will hear that church of philadelphia god has allowed to plant in this nation of bahrain to bring all the nations together to worship the almighty god to knowing jesus christ is lord that is our greatest slogan we proclaim jesus is lord that is why we are telling we will preach the word and save the world hallelujah this is what we are called this is what we are doing hallelujah this is we have to continue hallelujah so let us join together our all worship individual or as a together let help each and every one each and every family to join together with others to exalt the name of jesus hallelujah 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 dear brothers and sisters not only reading this portion not only just with the word we are saying but from our hearts with the reality we all can say i will praise my lord all the times at all the times i will praise my god is worthy is worthy to praise all the time his presence while i praise his presence will manifest his presence will remove all darkness how it light will give the right direction instruction to me hallelujah hallelujah he will help me he will help me to come out of this darkest season he will help me he will help me to hallelujah hallelujah hope for tomorrow he will he will really his holy spirit will 
continue to do to be all of us together bring others to join to praise and worship the lord god almighty hallelujah shall we shall we spend a minute in the presence of god to look unto him we can ask god sorry i cannot say in my difficult time i can praise my god in the last years and months i failed to do that but today by the help of your holy spirit i want to do it bible says in romans 8 verse 26 Holy Spirit is the one who help in your weakness to pray to praise to worship to give glory to God yes he is the same yesterday today and forever is the same now now if you call upon him he is ready to help you and me I want to oh Lord I want to say from my heart not only say but in my difficult time the dark season in my all time I want to give glory honor and praises to you my praises will not stop in my heart oh master even in sickness in worries in fear in anxiety lord help me to give praise because you are worthy you are worthy oh lord you are in the throne always you are in the throne Lord, rule over us. Let your Holy Spirit take control of our life. With our knowledge we cannot. With our ability, with our strength, no. But the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit come upon us. We will be strengthened to praise God in God. all times in all season and hallelujah that give us hope that bring others to join with us to praise and worship we thank you lord we thank you lord we as individual church families we commit into thy mighty hand holy spirit deal with I want to pray for the listeners. Lord, I want to pray as you are leading. I pray for the people who are going through sickness, not in good health. Send your strength to the master. Let them be healed. in the name of jesus wherever they are listening that them experience the power of god the strength of god be manifested in their body and let them be healed let them be healed yes all the sickness all the sickness heart problem lord the skin problem lungs problem what were they go through you are the healer let them be healed wherever you are you put your hands on your chest and receive the healing and i pray people who are worry and fear 
Lord, you are the deliverer. You are the one who said, don't be afraid. I will be with you. Let the presence of the Almighty be known to them who are going through difficult time in fear. That the spirit of fear be removed from their minds and hearts. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord. All the mental agony. All the mental problems. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Receive the healing. Receive the deliverance. Receive the right direction from the Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We give all glory. All praises to you. You alone worthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. I receive the blessings. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our Father God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. And the children of God say Amen and Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.